As the Pakistan government has finally banned Hafiz Saeed-led Jamaat Dawa and its affiliate Falai Insaniyat Foundation under the Anti-Terrorism Act. Now, this move comes after many turnarounds by Pakistan on the issue amid the growing tensions between India and Pakistan over the Pulwama terror attacks. Now, on 4th March, Pakistan had claimed that it had banned JUD and Falai Insaniyat. However, an India Today television investigation found Pakistan's tough stance on terror to be false as it had only put the two terror groups on the watch list and not on the proscribed list. Meanwhile, the Imran Khan government has taken Jaish e Mohammed Chief Masood Azhar's brother Mufti Abdul Rauf and son Hamas Azhar into preventive detention along with 44 other terrorists in fact, Pakistan maintains that the action has not been taken under pressure. So, uh, Geeta, we have been actually talking all along about the sham trials by Pakistan. They go ahead and ban Jamaat Dawa, Falai and Saniyad, but no action was in fact taken as regards Jesh. Now we hear that uh, they have taken Masood Azhar's brother and his son into preventive custody. Well, they had taken Masood Azhar's uh, brother and son in preventive custody even after Pathan court. And look, after that they were released. So preventive custodies mean nothing hmm. till the time there is, a, uh, there is absolute, uh, there is an FIR that's filed, uh, investigations carried out, and the two are prosecuted. We have not seen prosecutions in, pa in Pakistan, Rehan. That's a worry. All this are just to hoodwink the international organizations that are monitoring Pakistan and could very well... Uh, Pakistan could very well be on the road to becoming blacklisted if the review in June is adverse. Uh, in October, they will certainly be then on the black blacklist. And that's the reason why all these uh, efforts are being made. India right. will only start believing it if the prosecutions begin. Uh, preventive custodies, banning of organizations, these are all only steps towards prosecution. But if it does not, does not lead to prosecution, hmm. then it's only a sham. Right, Geeta. Thank you so much for your inputs on the story. So, in a major move to seek support from all quarters in getting Masood Azhar banned by the UN, India has now sent excerpts of the dossier shared with Pakistan to all its missions across the globe in order to share it with the respective nations. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share, and subscribe to India Today. Also, check out our other great videos from our channel. We know you would love to.